Hey everybody, welcome back to the world E to Z, where I try to make things easy for you. Yes, those are my initials, haha, <laughs> but they're cool. So we're going to work with just creating a simple face mesh today and where the hell you find the files, because I had a hard time finding the files and there wasn't much information on it, but that's why I'm here to provide you the information on where to find face uh, mesh files for Spark AR. Where are we going to go? We're going to go over here. I already have it pulled up for you. So it is, and I'll have it down in the link also. This link here, using the face reference, so it's going to be sparkar.facebook.com slash ar-studio slash learn documentation before you go start. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and it will be under the learning center and the basics using face using the face reference assets and you're going to come over here and you're going to download the face reference assets i already have it in my downloads as recent face assets and you're going to go to mesh and you're going to see these head occluders and head meshes these are going to be for 3d pro um, programs like maya blender and like ZBrush and stuff like that. If you want to do things, the head occluder is going to come in really handy when you are doing things like having ears on top of the head that move, um, a helmet, a hat, different kinds of things like that that are uh, on your head and you're still able to see inside of them and things like that. So uh, some really cool things that are necessary for a ton of different effects and you're going to have to get familiar with 3d programs if you want to do that and i have a really big background in 3d programs i just started with blender again and trying to get more familiar but two videos in and i'm super familiar again and it's great and i this is very easy to use you don't really need much and there's tons of free websites that have a variety of three of, of free free 3D free 3D objects that you can use at your disposal and also ones you can pay for. So we're going to go back to textures. And this is uh, where the money is right here. And the feminine, masculine face and face meshes to see where the trackers are. So I'll just show you what this looks like. This is the feminine face and you can see uh, it tries to show the natural shadows and I'll show you the tracker or just, this is just the regular face mesh so as it's laid out let's say it was a 3d program um, this face mesh would be perfect or you know for 3d wrapping and this is also great for Photoshop to lay over uh, photos and things to try to put the eyes where they need to be or to paint underneath and so on is the face tracker mesh and this highlights where um, they focus on tracking the mesh that you're making. So right here in the eyes and the eyebrows for movement and facial expression, the lips, ex tons of places for facial expression and the size of the face to kind of clip those edges there. So you can uh, work on the edge and go off on the edge when you're working on these two and it won't affect anything and like it won't show. So that's the female and this is the male. And I'll make things depending on if I think a wide variety of people were aware of this or that. I put the party masks and guys because it started off with me kind of thinking about Zoro-ish. But then it, I was like, oh man, this can turn into a lot of stuff and turn into party masks. And I just kept it there because that's where the file is and that's where it drags from. And I that's where I remember it from. So this is the male one and i use this for most of my male warriors and stuff like that that i've been doing in general and really the male and female are not much different at all so uh just a little bit in the lips and stuff like that but everybody's different <sighs> excuse me that was a natural yawn as you can see and face mask mesh i don't remember what that is it does come in handy so you will need to sorry i was getting kind of late my eyes have been like inside of the computer man and smoking a little bit of um that was marijuana if you can understand and that's how you get the face assets so you're going to be using these all the time and in the next video i'll show you how to apply apply a face mesh to a face tracker super simple 
check back in. This has been The World E to Z. I hope I made it easy for you. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.